Secure Ninja TV is still on Hawaii. Now we're at the top of Diamond Head. And if you look around, you'll see lots of tourists. And tourist equals targets. Let's talk a little bit more about Wi-Fi attacks. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, it's Andrew from Secure Ninja TV again. And we're on Waikiki Beach and Honolulu. I'm here with Bob Monroe from Hacker High School. Hello, Bob, welcome. Hi, Andrew. Thank you for having me. Listen, thanks so much for coming. I see you've got a whole pile of awesome tools to demonstrate for us today. But first of all, tell us a little bit about Hacker High School. Well, Hacker High School is a uh, global organization. Uh, we have 22 different lessons that are translated into 12 different languages. So we teach teens all over the globe about how to become a cybersecurity professional. We're not an awareness program. We are a full-blown program that takes them from zero to becoming a cybersecurity professional. So we teach all over the world. We have, we're online as well as in person. Excellent, and we will link to Bob's website as well in the description below on YouTube. Now let's go back to the tools here. We have a bunch of tools. Um, let's talk about them all just very briefly. We have, what's this guy called again, Bob? That one is called a dope scope. A dope scope, and what does the dope, dope scope do? The dope scope allows you to scan Wi-Fi networks, 2.4 gigahertz, as well as Bluetooth networks, which are also on 2.4 gigahertz. It doesn't do Bluetooth low energy, just Bluetooth. It tells you the, uh, the range to them, it's directional. It also tells you uh, what kind of encryption it's using or if it's an open network by itself. It also tells you the MAC address for Bluetooth devices as well. Excellent, so this is very much a reconnaissance tool. And when I looked in there, I could see lots of different networks, including our hotel networks. I could see their signal strength and the fact their security levels, uh, whether they were WPA2 or unlocked. Excellent, well, we've got some other tools here as well. Um, we have, it looks like this guy is the packet uh, analysis and capture device. And if I twist it just gently, you can see it's actually got a moving spectrum analyzer as well which is awesome and we can actually record the data stream in real time cap, uh, capture, capture packets and um, we have another device here which is used to do a de-authentication attack and we have another device over here that is used to detect de-authentication attacks. So why would we want to detect de-authentication attacks, Bob? Well, like most tools that the bad guys are using, the security folks aren't aware of what the tools are. So part of what we do with Hacker High School is we teach them how to protect the network, something the security industry hasn't quite caught up with. So with a de-authentication detector, it allows them to detect if somebody is de-authenticating their network or if any de-authentication frames are being sent out, which there shouldn't be any de-authentication frames be sent out because there's no purpose for them anymore unless you're going to do an attack. So you would see somebody doing a man in the middle a Wi-Fi attack, also called an evil twin or a poison twin attack. Or if you're just trying to capture credentials, that's the other thing, and that's where the packet capture board comes in. Excellent. Well, speaking of all that, it looks like we have all the tools we need. Uh, we have our own Wi-Fi hotspot here, guys. I just want to show you guys that this is our own. We are not going to attack anybody else's network. And obviously, if you don't want to go to jail, and I am too pretty for jail, uh, we are only going to attack authorized networks where we have permission. We're actually going to try and do a de-authentication attack against this Wi-Fi hotspot using that single tool and we're going to try and catch, uh, capture the packets on this device and break them with Hashcat a little bit later on. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. I'm going to get in here and I'm just going to hit the start button. Now what should happen Bob with the um, detection device? What should happen if we do successfully send out a de-authentication? It'll attack? start sending out an audio signal letting you know that de-authentication frames are being detected. Excellent. So let's start the attack. There, there it goes. Excellent. So we've done our de-authentication attack and this device is capturing the four-way handshake and we may even be able to do a two-way handshake attack against the packet capture. We'll see what happens later on. We're going to use something. Maybe we'll use Hashcat, maybe we'll use John the Ripper, but we're going to see if we can actually figure out and break our password. There's our super secret password that we're going to try and break later on. 
Excellent. So, Bob, it's pretty self-evident why somebody would want one of these two attack tools. We have um, something for grabbing uh, packets, and we have something for carrying out a uh, de-authentication attack. Very useful for an up-and-coming hacker, for instance. Um, but this de-authentication detector, why should somebody who owns a network have one of these devices? Very good question. I like that. In Hacker High School, we teach protection, protection of assets. And the lessons for Hacker High School are built off of the Open Source Security Testing Methodology Manual, the OSTEM. Now, the OSTEM has got 10 operational security controls, not the 1190 the NIST has. We just have 10, pretty simple. One of the operational security controls is alarm. And that's exactly what this guy does here. And it's alarm to let you know something bad is happening to your network Pay attention, wake up, see what's going on. The, th the authentication frames are being sent out somewhere on your network. And all it costs is $15. That's awesome, Bob. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We'll talk to you again soon, okay? Thank you for having me. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and to like because we have a lot more content coming from Hawaii. I'm Andrew Howard from Secure Ninja TV. We'll talk to you again soon.